Hey everyone and welcome once again to the videos on chemistry tutorials. This is Kalyan Kumar and I welcome you to this edition of the name reaction. We had done a lot of name reactions and in, in between we squeezed in some IUPAC nomenclature videos of all types of organic compounds and we are back with the name reactions again alphabet B the first B we did was Bayer Willigar oxidation and today we are going to do Baker Venkatraman rearrangement this is a rearrangement very similar to the Claisen condensation which of course we will do in a, in a separate video so let me explain to you what this basically is this compound is known as 2 aceto aceto oxy acetophenone this is the aceto oxy and if this were a ch3 this thing would be called acetophenone so 2 aceto oxy acetophenone and that is reacting rather rearranging to give you this compound which is a 1,3 diketone and this happens only if it is an aromatic system where the ester group it's a phenolic ester is attached at the position number two and on one you have a ketone and the ketone must have alpha hydrogen just like aldol condensation it must have alpha hydrogens and then you need an ester group here it's a phenolic ester and that will become a 1,3 diketone 1,3 diketone is because this is 1 and this is 3 that means if you were to take this as the functional group principal functional group then this would be 1 this would be 3 it's a 1,3 diketone so we're going to see this particular reaction in detail now. Let's understand what this reaction is all about and how this actually takes place. Also with the mechanism. So here it is. The baker venkatraman rearrangement is the chemical reaction of 2-aceto-oxy-acetophenone. Make sure you understand the name. Aceto-oxy-acetophenone with base to form 1,3 diketones and obviously it is named after the two scientists who uh, discovered this particular reaction it is named after wilson baker and krishna swami venkatraman so the overall reaction looks like this this is your two aceto oxy acetophenone as we saw you need a base which will make this conversion happen and it becomes a one three diketone so let's understand the mechanism in the first step, the base, uh, let me now again change back the ink. The base attacks the alpha hydrogen and picks up the alpha hydrogen leaving a anion. An anion and that to a enolate anion. So the first step involves the abstraction of the alpha hydrogen atom as a proton by the base forming an enolate ion this is the step so this is your acetoxestophenone i have shown you the alpha h of course there is one more h there there is one more h here which i am not showing because it's not required so base abstracts the hydrogen the CH bond goes between the two carbon atoms and the pi bond goes to O, enolate anion. In step two, what happens is this particular alpha carbon attacks the carbonyl carbon of the ester. Let's see how that happens. In step two, uh, there is an attack of the alpha carbon of the enolate ion on the carbonyl carbon enolate ion the alpha carbon is this and the carbonyl carbon of the ester is this so there is an attack like this so this is your enolate ion the minus charge comes back on O pi bond shifts to alpha carbon 
alpha carbon attacks the carbonyl carbon pi bond ships to o and if you can look at the ring size this is if i look at the ring size 1 2 3 4 5 6 it's a stable kind of a ring that's why this attack happens so you get a six membered cyclic alkoxide ion this is cyclic alkoxide ion in the next step the cyclic alkoxide ion comes back and the phenoxide ion the most stable phenoxide ion leaves so the step number 3 is involving the opening of the cyclic intermediate i'm sorry there has to be a, uh, some kind of a spelling error here it is cyclic so the third step involves opening of the cyclic intermediate to form a more stable phenolate ion or phenoxide ion so what basically happens is the minus comes back between the carbon and o and this bond leaves in favor of o and what happens is a phenoxide ion is formed or a phenolate ion is formed and you can already see the 1 3 diketone forming and in the last step well this picks up the proton which the base stole from the carbon and the last step the base gives back the proton to the phenolate ion to produce a 1 3 diketone so this is what happens this picks up the proton from hb and you get the phenol part so this is a 1 3 diketone forming and as i said in the beginning this reaction is very similar to claisen condensation which we will do in some later videos so that's it for now this is the baker wenke trauma rearrangement i hope you understood what this reaction is all about if required please go back and watch it again and i would request you to subscribe to this channel if you want more videos of chemistry chemistry tutorials on various types of reactions i'm going to do all name reactions possible and therefore if you want to keep getting a notification for that please subscribe to this channel any queries any questions that you have on this particular video please leave them in the comment section below thanks for watching